Hello once again, everyone. I wanted to share a video to show you some very important details about the coming time in which the comet that is making the alpha signature, the letter alpha of the signature of the Lord, comet E3, which is the comet that is going to reach the pendulum clock on February 20th, and what this area and the clock represents as we, have, as we have studied. So we shared about the sign of Jonah in the previous video that I uh, published here on YouTube. And I want to encourage you to share with others. This is a card that we made that has the barcode to the message that we published on our website. I will share that link in the description. But speaking about the comet and its approach to the pendulum clock. This is a very important time. And when we first started studying about the horologium, we wrote an article called the rod of iron. And in that article, we shared the symbolism the Lord was revealing to us in accordance to Revelation 19. We understand the horologium clock showing Jesus as coming as as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, as is uh, mentioned in Revelation 19. And he says that he comes with a sword out of his mouth and he has a rod of iron. And the pendulum of the Horologium constellation signifies those two instruments of destruction, destruction that Jesus is seen in the prophecy with. So it's really important now that Comet E3 will reach this line on February 20, so it's also the 6 o'clock hour on the horologium clock. And it will begin the period of time that we mentioned before, which is the time of the last two full seven weeks, seven weeks from February 20 to April 8th, and then from April 9th to May 27th of time. And we are given this message of the fall of Babylon, like the Bible uh, says in Revelation 18. And so the activation of this pendulum line by Comet E3 is to be an important time. And we have several hints about what could it could signify. And so we're watching and just telling the people about the time. But I wanted to show you, you know, I showed you the sword and the rod of iron, but also we recognize how the pendulum serves as like a hammer, like a judge will use an, a court. And this is uh, related to the time of judgment, like Babylon has been weighed and found wanting, and now is the time of the judgment, executive judgment that Jesus does. And also, the path of the comet, we have shown how it represents a sickle. So when on February 20th, the comet reaches this area, it will start drawing the blade of that sickle. And this is the sickle of the grape harvest of Revelation 14. It talks about the harvest of grapes and which is going to be... Um, thrown into the wine press and trodden underfoot. And then after that, the um, church is taken and then the divine wrath completely falls upon the world. So there will be a time there we have entered and entering a time of tribulation, like this comet also shows, comet S4, that we talked about in the article thrust in thy sickle that I want to encourage us you to read. And this is the time when we are in the Fernix constellation. And we will see how things develop, but it could be in many different areas. And I would like to invite you at this point to join our Telegram uh, group because there we share some um, more specific details that I cannot really publish on YouTube because of restrictions. So I will put a link in the description and encourage you to uh, join. But it's interesting because 
you know, we see developments all over the world and some of the things that uh, we are noticing is the symbolism that is shown. And I just shared there in Telegram a picture that somebody posted about a symbolism of a uh, flag of the Chinese Communist Party that shows a sickle and a hammer. So it could be related to um, a conflict, like right now there is a conflict between China and Taiwan, and the U.S. probably uh, is involved in that, um, in that uh, conflict. And so we want to point everybody to the time that the clock is showing, and we just tell the time, always tell the time, and then we watch attentively to see how things develop. We can anticipate certain things, but when the time comes and the things happen, then we can say, well, look, this is how, this is what the Lord showed. But we have hints also that we want to explore. So anyways, I want to encourage you, if you have been impressed by especially the sign of Jonah, that Jesus prophesied they would come, I encourage you and I um want to ask that you share it with others because this is a message that must go out so that many people have the opportunity to listen and to consider and to, to tell others so that many, many, many can come to the understanding. So blessings in this work, and um, I hope that you find it useful to see how the Lord is working and how the culminative part of the sign of the Son of Man and the sign of Jonah with the mouth of the fish and the time shown there is the time that the Father is proclaiming, the Ancient of Days, Jesus, uh, uh, Daniel, God is called the Ancient of Days. So this is, for me personally, super amazing and, wow, mind-boggling and, and just, I can, I just stand in awe of the, glory that the Lord is revealing. And I encourage you to dwell in this theme and to understand it for yourself so that you can preach it with confidence and and the deliverance, the soon deliverance that the Lord is pointing to as we face a time of trouble such as never was as described in Daniel 12. So be encouraged and let's go forward in the Lord.